Hello my family <laughs> of Lalaska. Today is another day. Our previous tutorial we ended with this wrench. But today we are not going to do this wrench or do any 2D stuff. We are going to work with a 3D interface. So by then you are going to work with this as a 3D object. You are going to change this to 3D. And which is we are on the top view here. Okay. So today we want us to do this infinity cube here. This infinity cube to introduce ourselves to the let's say autocad 3d workspace okay so let's just get started if you not you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe then we move on so now we are in the 2d working space all right so if you want to change to the 3d workspace you can just move to this place then check to 3d modeling or you just click on this if you pull, drop your uh, a pointer here i'm gonna find this home icon over here you can click on that one or if you hover your pointer here you see this 2d wireframe and this top view if you click on this you can change the side west isometric so three ways of changing the 3d view all right so i mean always use the home icon key which is fast so you see the drawing that we did there was on the top view that we were viewing so automatically if you open the autocad and let's say control z to undo you see you see this x uh, y x coordinate here to be two meaning you're in a 2d view and you are on the top of it right the top of it so to automatically it's like you can change this to let's say left so that's the left view of what we had mm, let's say bottom that's the bottom of what we did you see it has, it has turned another way you see all right okay so you can change to the top again so we are on the top view and we are viewing from the top so let's change the 3d view all right okay so now if you change the 3d view you see you're having this exact coordinates to be to be part of it you're having three of it you're in the 3d view but here you're having a 2d tools here you're not having a 3d tools so you have to move back to the quest gl thing over here and convert to 3d modeling all right simple as that so now you're having a two a 3d tools with it so before i get to this let's do this infinity cube first before because i'm not having any dimension that i'm going to use it for or let's use a precise i mean dimension is all right so <clears throat> let's say before you do any 3d this is a box extrude extrude to create a solid object by pulling the boundaries of it to make it solid all right and this press pool here also gives you um to make a solid by clicking in a bounded area to i mean i just make it solid all right so this is for union I want to join two solid objects together to make it one body so i'm going to apply them here so let's say and here you have the loft the revolve and the sweep all right but today i'm going to use this um this sweep here and the press and pull most often all right so if you want to modeling if you want to do modeling this is where you have to i mean look at the modeling panel over here and if you want to do some mesh and solid editing. You want to do editing to a solid? That's where you go. If you want to draw as we did in the 2D, that's where you go to drawing and modify as well. And you move your solid. You have a whole lot of solid, I mean, options to work with. You have a surface. You want to, I mean, do some editing to the surface of your solid. Then visualization is where you, you do some rendering and add materials to your object. So, home. Then, let's say, you see this. If I click on this and this place are not being joined together, so if you want to do some press pull here, most often you find it, I mean, difficult to, I mean, highlight it. Okay, thank God we're having it. Press pull again. Okay, so very good. So we're gonna press pull this. You see, before I just click, after pointing my pointer here. You can see this arc have been uh, highlighted, right? So we're gonna 
unless you can press put something you have to wait for that place to be highlighted so if you put it here and that all that one is being highlighted you can do the press pull all right so so the boundary that i want to press pull is highlighted so you click let's say to a height of okay to a height of do i even have a height let's say a height of five all right so five will do then you do same to this place five all right so we are now to the wireframe mode so you can just press pull this portion as well so if that place is not being highlighted often you just select all the objects you join them together which is you type j on your keyboard and you select all objects and you join them so let's say this will be a distance of four you see most of the ranges doesn't goes with that uh, being uniform with that place okay so before doing this you change from you can change the view to conceptual by i think that is a 2d you click here 2d wireframe to click this door down menu here to conceptual all right you can change the view and if you want to you can change it from this place to 2d wireframe all right and you can change again conceptual that's a conceptual thing that you have all right so you see you have a range by this time if, okay to rotate like this as i'm doing or to rotate around and have a view of what you are doing you just hold down shift and press hold down your middle mouse button as well then you do the rotation all right hold down shift and hold down the middle mouse button as well then you just be dragging your mouse all right so that's it so you see we are having this i mean gap between this one and this one and we are not having same here so you can just rotate it like this then you do some press pull with this face with a distance of one of it okay so i'm not having a precise uh, let's say a dimension for example i'm just using my own dimensions to do something to look like a wrench all right so <clears throat> i done with this but this time you see there is two or three different solids so this is where the union comes in so this is the union command and this is the subtract command and this is the let's say um intersect command so if you want to subtract something maybe i can create a hole here let's say let's draw a circle let's draw a circle okay here's a circle you see where i'm looking there's a circle or c for circle i can draw a circle here all right this small circle here what is it let's change the wireframe we're having a circle on it so i can press pull i can move this up oh why am i looking at the left like that i can move this up a little bit and I'll do some press pull of it. Alright, so change to conceptual. You see, I'm having these two objects, which is the circle. Uh, let's move this to a little bit here. You see, I'm having these two objects with uh, this one inside, alright but i want to subtract this cylinder from this base here to get a hole that's where the subtract comes so you just click on your subtract here then you select the object that you want to maintain first then click enter then select the one that you don't want then you click enter again all right so that's the subtraction so we have subtracted the cylinder from it to get a hole all right so after getting this hole and you want to union them all i'm going to do is to select your union then select this object this object and that object enter to confirm now you're having one body which is not different 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 all right so that's the union okay so we are done with this and you can change this to realistic 
view which to look like a little bit of metal but that's not a metal it's just looking like a metal okay so you can just select this